In the previous episode, we worked on pay button component. In this one, we will create alert views in TCA. And also, once the order is sent, we will close the card and reset all the add to card buttons to zero. Let's work first on the confirmation alert. Since we are using Swift UI, the first idea when we think about alerts, it's to use the alert modifier. However, TCA Framework provides a better version of that alert that can work with your state and actions. We will use this one instead. But first, let's analyze the parameters. The first one is a store of an alert state type, and the second one is a dismiss action. It turns out that TCA provides not only the UI to display an alert, but also a state to manage when this alert should be shown or dismissed. And the great benefits of this is that this is isolated from your custom state. You don't have to create your own logic to manage the internal aspects of an alert. Pretty cool, right? Let's go to card list domain and add an alert state that will ask the user if she wants to move forward. Two things to notice is that action type for this alert state is one from card list domain. You can build a dedicated action if you want, but for this case, let's keep it in the same domain. Also, we are making this alert optional because it is not required to keep it in memory unless it has to be displayed. If you want to learn more about optional states, check out the link in the description. All right, let's move to action and add one that reflects the confirmation from the user. Now let's configure the alert in the reducer. We just created this action, but this is not the place to create the alert. In fact, this will be the place to put the logic from the press bit button. Let's move that code to the confirm purchase action. It is the press pay button where we will call the alert. To get started, let's create a new alert object. For our case, let's use the one with title, message, and buttons parameters. Text state is like a regular Swift UI text. Let's add any title and message you want to inform about the transaction. Now for buttons, it's an array of alert state dot button. There are basically three types, default, cancel, and destructive. In this case, let's use one default and one cancel button. Both buttons will require a text state and an action from this domain. You guess it, this will call did confirm purchase. Lastly, let's implement the cancel button. Cancel action should remove the alert from the screen. To do that, we will have to assign nil to confirmation alert. Let's create another action to do the dismiss operation. That's it for the logic. Now let's add the alert UI in card list view. To get the confirmation alert state, let's use a scope operator. And for dismiss action, let's use the cancel confirmation. Great. Now let's test what we did here. Look how we are displaying the alert and how we can cancel the operation from the cancel button. Now, if we press pay, we will receive the OK message confirming that our operation was sent. This is great, but let's improve the user experience even more. Now that you know how to build alerts in TCA, let's also create one for success and for failure cases. Let's go back to cardless domain to add the new alert states.
for both cases, the alerts will be created once we got the purchase response. But to dismiss them, we need another two new actions. Now let's invoke the success alert from the success response. Now let's do the same for error alert. Finally, let's add both alerts to card list view. Let's run the app one more time. Because the send orders method is always returning OK, this operation will never fail with mock data. And as you can see, we got the success alert. Now let's modify the method to always throw an error and see if we can get the error alert. Just for the purpose of testing in this case, I'm creating a dummy error. We will create a better one pretty soon. All right, let's run again. Look how this time we got an error. This is confirming that both flows are working as expected. However, if we go back to the success case, we can see that card is still showing the items we just purchased. And of course, the product list is still with some items selected. We want to do a few things. Close the card and reset all add to card counters to zero. This will be really easy to do with TCA. Let's go back to product list domain and review the card action in the reducer. We need to review this miss success alert action to start the reset. We will have to iterate over product list and reset the counter to zero. In order to do that, we cannot iterate over the elements because those will be immutable. Instead, let's iterate over all the IDs and then modify each product from the ID. Even better, we can create a private function to clarify the purpose of this code. Now we can close the cart by setting should open cart equal to false. There you go. Let's run the simulator and see the result. Look how the cart list is closed and the buttons say add to cart again. This is the proof that now our success flow is consistent. That's it for this episode. In the next one, we will finally replace the mock data with a real web API call. My name is Pete and this, this is Swift Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.